Hi, my name is Rachel. So my name is Colton. My name is Mariana. My name is Jocelyn. My name is Avery. My name is Kaylin Estrabello. My name is Sam. I'm Harry. I'm Javier Alfonso Tuazan. My name is Haruna. My name is Alessio. My name is Anthony. I'm Rowan. My name is Tyrus. And I've just finished my second year of biomedical engineering. Chemical and biological engineering at UBC. Civil engineering. Computer engineering at UBC. Electrical engineering at UBC. Environmental engineering at UBC. From engineering physics. Engineering physics. Geological engineering. Integrated engineering. And Manufacturing engineering. Mechanical engineering at UBC. Mining engineering. Materials engineering at UBC. Um. I underestimated how much I missed biology. I wanted to do something with environmental sustainability, right? Out of all the engineering, it's the engineering that you can make the biggest impact in the world. It like specialized more in what I actually wanted to do, which is stuff with computers, designing chips. It's right up my alley of sustainability and clean water. I saw physics, I saw robotics, I was like, where do I sign up? <laughs> engineering physics had basically everything I wanted to do, which was blend physics, mechanical, electrical, and software. It advertised itself as the most outdoorsy of the engineering. I didn't really let you choose and navigate your degree to your liking, which I really love. Uh, Menu had a lot of courses for different disciplines. It's so versatile, man. You can do anything. Talking to people in the field and in the industry and kind of seeing the work that they do, I think it's really engaging. I liked how there seemed to be different options for fields to work in. Um. That course is biomechanics. It's mechanics from first year applied to your joints of your legs. And we looked at, for example, like pH and temperature conditions for different bacteria and different types of uh, organisms. We got to work on the project, which was building a truss, as you can see behind me. We simulated virtual memory as one of our labs. We optimized caches as one of our labs. Some of the labs that we did included building an alarm clock, a temperature sensor, and a capacitance sensor. We did a hydroponic project so that's growing plants without soil. Control theory, uh, circuit design, mechanical design, and software integration. Basically, anything you need to know about making a scuffed robot. You're gonna delve a lot into your three rock types. Igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic. The first project you work on is the line following robot. The first lab we ever had, it was we got to disassemble a small engine. And we had this off-road little RC vehicle that we had to build, which is pretty cool. You get a bucket of rock and you start each section, you'll grind it, you'll grind it smaller, you'll use different types of grinding. I got to like scan materials to see if they have like internal flaws. Um. First term, workload. That was the heaviest workload I've ever had in my life. So the workload compared to first year was less, but in saying that the assignments and projects were more difficult. Much, much easier than first year engineering. Um. Second year, they really start hammering in those labs. That's the big thing between first year and second year. I definitely found second year electrical engineering a lot more difficult than first year. For the most part, I did really enjoy second year more than first year. I know like uh, most people in other programs have said it's easier. For engineers, no, that's not true. It's a lot easier from my experience. I found second year a lot easier than first year. I thought the course load was a bit easier compared to first year. First year was definitely easier, but second year was more enjoyable. I have taken both the time in first year and this year to do a lot of other things and I haven't taken a full course load. Honestly, first year for me felt like a lot of weeding. It really tested your, your capabilities. I found materials a lot filler. I'm on Engineers Without Borders. I applied to and got into Waysons, so UBC Waysons. I am on Subsea, which is human-powered submarine design. I am on the electrical team of Subbots. I am on a Concrete Toboggan. I am part of the superstructure sub-team. I was on Third Quadrant Design. The only thing I did was like research with a professor from Mexico. I do a lot of work with the US. I'm one of their vice presidents. I'm on UBC Baja. Um. Keep your friends close. Taking opportunities. Just talk to people. If you're confused, reach out to people. Don't be confused on your own. We're 
We're all confused. I really believe that if you want it badly enough, you will make time um, for it. No matter if you love it or hate it, you're going to have to get used to working with other people in second year ELEC. Really take advantage of the small specialization. Like if everyone supports each other in this program, everybody's really nice, um, everybody's really chill, and um, if you really form those friendships, um, that can really help you get through this program. Do not take Math 220 if you're not planning on going into computer science or math minor. Just have fun or try to find fun. Try and find the good side of things for this time, this time around. Talk to upper years, they're always there to help you. Talk with your classmates, you're all in the same boat, you're all there to succeed. So if you have a due date for an assignment, just put that due date five to seven days before it's actually due. Eat, <laughs> sleep, repeat, put the buddy in there somewhere. <laughs> Definitely the most important thing is finding community, finding people you can engage with. I feel like once you get into your second years back, the groups get smaller and you still have new people who are like, you share more stuff in common with. Go to sleep and try not to fuel your life on stimulants. Making sure that you work with others well and making and forming study groups to do work together. Don't be scared of taking on new opportunities because you think you're gonna be too busy. You're here, you're worthy, and just hold on to what makes you special and hold on to what makes you worthy. For this program. Okay.